Hey guys, Carolina Risotto here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be visiting the city of Santa Monica in Los Angeles County. A lot of people when they think about LA, they actually see in their mind Santa Monica, which is a beautiful beach, that awesome colorful pier. That's actually just Santa Monica. It's a city in the LA County. Today I'm going to be showing you guys around to give you a little bit of perspective from both a local point of view and also a tourist point of view. What's special about this video is that we're going to be trying out a brand new Nikon product. A Nikon representative reached out to me and asked if I would like to try their new camera, the Z50. It's supposed to be perfect for on-the-go vlogging or photography. Let it be as something you do as a hobby or professionally. I'm actually using this camera to film right now, and I'm currently filming in 4K at 30 frames per second, but most of the footage in the video is going to be in HD at 30 frames per second since those are the settings I usually do on my on-the-go videos. Let's see how this camera performs. We're going to be talking all about it at the end of this video. Now, let's get to Santa Monica. We made it here to Santa Monica and we're gonna start our day. Now Santa Monica does not only have a beach, it also has a nice little commercial area. It has a really popular pier from the 1920s with some like a uh, small little amusement park for families and stuff like that. But I'm gonna give you some insider tips on things that I've learned coming here so many times. You guys ready? Let's go. to the pier which is like one of the landmarks here in Santa Monica and one of the most visited spots by tourists. I think I've only been there like three times since I moved to LA but you can tell behind me there's a huge amount of cars right over there. It is only worth parking there if you're gonna be at the beach all day. Otherwise park up here because there's like level difference like you have to go all the way down here and there's like a part of a freeway here before you get to the beach and honestly that's one of the things I don't like about beaches here is that there's always sort of like a freeway somewhere in there. As we make our way to the pier, um, the amount of tourists increases and that's why I actually avoid it. I really like staying on the other side with the beautiful palm trees. It's nice and calm. Here it's always really busy. Okay guys, finally a moment for some peace and quiet. <laughs> Just got out of the pier. Oh my god, that place is a huge mess. I really don't enjoy going to the pier, but I did it for you guys, okay? So feel grateful. If you are planning on going to Santa Monica just to like be by the beach, maybe get a tan, I don't think it's super pleasant to do it right by the pier um, because there's usually some construction going on. It's a little bit dirtier. I would prefer actually walking away from the pier to get the best beach spots. A lot of people complain that in LA nothing's walking distant and whatever, but one of the cool things about the beaches here is that they're all connected. They're all one next to each other. So technically, you could do a really long walk from beach to beach. So here where we are, I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Below these beautiful palm trees, what else is new? To the right side, that's the pier, so that's where we were. This is Santa Monica. But if we go this way, we can walk all the way down to Venice Beach. After there's Marina del Rey and then there's Manhattan Beach, which are fantastic places to visit. But if you go this way and you walk all the way down, keep going straight, you end up at Malibu. Malibu is a whole different story. It's a completely different vibe. It is not as pedestrian friendly as Santa Monica at all. Venice and Manhattan and Marina, they're a little more friendly in that sense, but that's for another video. I think I'm gonna take a seat right here. I'm getting a little tired. Oof. Man. Okay guys, so I finally found a quiet little spot around here and it took a while. I've been walking for a while. I always thought Santa Monica was really beautiful and it looks incredibly beautiful on TV. But that's when I realized because I think the, the beat system is not great. Like I don't like that the nature area is separated by a huge freeway that then comes a parking lot and then there's the beach. All of those things kind of 
interrupt like your peaceful experience with nature. It makes you more aware that that beach, that infrastructure, that everything around you was sort of fabricated to be that way. But seriously, like you can't deny, it's beautiful. I was trying to understand how can a place that's so beautiful not feel authentic, right? Mm kind of deep, let's talk about LA a little bit. It's very cinematográfica, so it's so good for films, for movie making, that beautiful landscape. It looks so impactful on camera. But when you come here in person, something about the energy doesn't feel right. Maybe it's also the fact that there are not that many locals here, there's just so many tourists in Santa Monica Beach. That's why one of the reasons why I love going to Manhattan Beach. But Manhattan Beach feels more personal, feels more local. It almost has like a small city vibe, but I do think it must be incredibly lovely to live here. I'm not surprised that Santa Monica is one of the most expensive places to live in the entire country. For a one bedroom apartment, it's about at least $3,000 per month of rent. Starting, starting price. One thing you should be aware, it is the homeless people. And I'm whispering because there are some around me right now. They're kind of everywhere, so in terms of safety, LA is a significantly safe place. I wouldn't say it's the safest. New York City definitely felt safer to me the whole time I lived there. I would be careful with your belongings, with pickpockets, that sort of thing. But let's go see the Third Street Promenade and come up with our own conclusions. So the Third Street Promenade is like right in downtown Santa Monica, only a couple blocks from the beach. Very, very popular here. Lots of tourists go around there. Lots of locals go there too. Let's go to Third Street Promenade and see what it's all about. go here we are everybody you can probably hear a little bit of singing there's a street performer right there that's one of the things that's most typical about third street promenade live performers people come here all the time to sing dance karate I don't know there's also a lot of restaurants and shops around here every single block and they're all one next to each other you can walk here in the middle of the street which is super pleasant um, because you know it's not car dominated so you feel like you can relax and not worry about being hit by a car, which apparently is pretty common here in LA. One thing I would keep in mind when choosing a restaurant is see the street performer that's there, <laughs> make sure you enjoy it, and then pick the restaurant because you don't want to eat at a place with like really loud, unpleasant music. Let's see what kind of music they're doing here. Oh Jesus. <laughs> So when I was still new in LA, I made that mistake. There was a street performer right there. It wasn't them, it was something else. It was something really random. And I went to this beanery, and they only had seats outside. So I had to eat to this music the whole time. Not this one, but you know, to music. To weird music. But it is entertaining. This is not a quiet street. This is not a peaceful place. If you want peace, don't come here. On the weekends, it gets more crowded. But guys, in the summer, in the summer, it gets insane. Like it's, you see, what is it? In crazy. Okay, everybody. Now we're entering a little bit more of a residential area which is just a few blocks away from the 3rd Street Promenade, about a block away from the beach. The beach is right there, as you can see. So this is like really nice, really peaceful. Oh, look at all those streets, it's so nice. So now I'm gonna take a moment to talk about street parking. When you park, if you go to these residential areas, so they're a little bit further from where you know tourists would usually go, look at these signs right here. No parking, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m and it says permits exempt. That means if you have a government permit to park here, you can park any time of the day without any time restrictions. But usually sometimes you're just gonna see this little guy, okay? So that's because of street cleaning. So trucks come by to clean the streets, that's why a car can be here. During the day, there's no restriction on two hour parking, three hour parking. So you can go out, you can spend the whole day at the beach, just come back before six, move your car without paying a thing. So now that the afternoon is ending, we're gonna walk towards the beach and watch the beautiful and famous Santa Monica sunset. And then I wanna know from you guys if you think it's as beautiful as people say or as you see on TV.
Welcome back everybody. Wasn't that like a beautiful sunset? Now it's time to get nerdy and talk a little bit about the camera's performance. So if you're about to leave us, remember to give this video a like and to subscribe. I really appreciate your support and you have no idea how much of a difference it makes. You know, I see you, I appreciate you, so please like and subscribe. But now it's time to talk about the Z50. In terms of feel, um, it felt very nice to hold the camera. The camera is extremely light, which I really loved. In terms of performance, I was really surprised with the camera's reaction time. As soon as I turn on the camera, boom, the system turns on, ready to use. As soon as I click record, it's recording. As soon as I switch to, to photography mode, it takes photos. So that made it very easy for me to not miss a shot. Now, here's something that surprised me very positively. I was able to use one battery for four hours. I started wondering how many hours I could film with this camera in 4K, because one of my fears was like, if I put this in 4K, the battery is gonna die in like an hour. I was really afraid of that. I also thought the camera captured light incredibly well. The fact that I was able to get that shot, that the sun wasn't super bright, I was able to get all of the colors and those kinds of things, that was like a majorly positive surprise. But taking photos of the sunset, also very similar performance photography wise. So I thought this was a very good camera to use on the go where you can switch from great photography and great video. I can't wait to take this camera out again. It also has so many different features to explore. Maybe we'll be doing some more videos about the Z50 here on the YouTube channel. Big thanks to Nikon for making this video happen. I'm Carolina Risotto. I'll see you next time.